Um, I think I butchered some of my tomato plants, but it was on purpose because now they have air, airflow. You can actually see. And I think I've never done it before and I certainly don't do it on purpose. I might have a mega bloom and I didn't do that on purpose, but I'll leave it and see what it does. I've never grown them before. But yeah, they've got all bottom air now, so that's good. Oh, bloody things. All those little leaves you see down there are those uh, silver birch or cottonwood. Cottonwood seedlings have all come to fruition. We leave them until it's cleaned out the beds and then I pull them all up because otherwise I'd be here for years picking them out one at a time. So this is where I'm going to put them. The, like I said, the little teeny tiny zucchinis are on there. They're just not, the flowers aren't opening. They're not getting any sunlight. They've got a million on there. Um, so do them like this, stake them up, and put some more dirt around the bottoms. They should be okay from slugs in this pot up on the table. So I'm not too worried about that. And then what I'll do is when they get a little bit more established, I will perhaps put some mulch around the tops of them and see how they do that way. But yeah, so far so good. Sorry, I tend to wander with my face looking at other things while I'm talking to you. I just wanted to see how these ones were doing. And I've got lots of little babies coming. So that's good. Good sign. Yep, good signs. Okay, so the crying shall start right about now, but I'll do it off camera. I have to figure out what to do with all the aphids. I've squished and squished and squished them, and they're just all over the place. So might have to do the dreaded soapy water, but we'll see. Something is eating all the heads off of my beautiful black velvet pansies. That's just freaking wrong. If I catch you, oh, you're dead. And we have tiny beans. Where are they? Yeah, little tiny bean starting and something's chewing all my freaking beans again today. Mm. Always something trying to eat stuff that I'm trying to eat. Cucumber update, still doing good. That one still doesn't have a single flower on it. But we do have liftoff on the Autumn King carrots. Cool. These are not pelleted, these are just regular seeds. Seed saving time. So a couple of varieties of poppies, I'm trying to keep track of which ones are which. The great big huge ones are the pom-poms, the red pom-poms. Took some pansy seeds. I've never saved pansy seeds before, but gonna give it a shot. And of course, I'll have an, end up with a bucket of calendula seed heads when I'm finished. So that should be interesting to figure out where I'm gonna put all them. Another note to yourself moment. If you're gonna put a big table out and fill it up with plants, don't put it lengthwise because I couldn't get to anything at the back of the table. So I had to take everything off the table turn the table this way so that I can reach it from both sides to prune and water and feed. And it's frickin' roasting out here today. Really hot at the moment, but what I wanted to show you was I've got aphids on my eggplants outside, but I think that's a ladybug larva. Well, not larva, baby. So hopefully it's here to eat everything and it can have all the frickin' things it wants. Frickin', there's that word again. It's July 6th, but I just thought I'd come out and show you in amongst all of the beans that are going. I'm on the outside of the fence because no other way to get to see them. The sunflowers, and I don't remember which ones these ones are, but it's got multiple heads, but look, even the, where am I? 
even the little creases, the crooks and the elbows, sorry, that's my fingers, um, are getting flowers. See, little flowers, dirty fingernails. I'm out in the yard, obviously. Yeah, so I'm just coming out to tie them up a little bit more because they're flopping over and the beans are attacking them. <laughs> Excellent. And we have antage. You probably, you probably can't see that, but there's ants all over them. Okay, peas are all done, except for the sweet peas. They're still there, which is fantastic. They smell absolutely beautiful. Then we have a table full of peas we need to shell. Look at that, perfect peas. Now I have to go and check, they're either Oregon Sugar Snap or one of the other varieties, so I'll have to go and check on my labels. One more thing about peas. I'm talking about not crowding your vegetables. The other thing is keep track of what's good and what's not. Oregon sugar snap are a nice pea when they're a pod and you're cooking them in a stir fry or whatever. As far as doing anything else, they're not that great because you don't get a lot of yield when they start shelling out. And that's today's harvest of shelled peas. Like I said, shelling, if you're shelling peas, um, steer clear if you can of the sugar snaps because once they start shelling up, they only get three or four peas in each one but the other ones get like full 10 or 12. Another aha moment. Pick your location. I've put asparagus in the second bed and technically I should have put it over here because once you've harvested your first bit, you are sitting with fronds you can't touch. Well, you could, but it's not a good idea to for the next four months they just take over so pick your location as they say in real estate location 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 it means everything in gardening as well this is another aha moment this seemed like a great idea when i put it here but it's behind the door so when i open this door open this door which needs washing it um, blocks not only the leaves from sunshine, but it also bangs it. So I won't do that again. Put something tall there. Yes, something that sprawls. Definitely not. So learn from what you've done this year so you don't do it again next year. This is my new pot drip irrigation system. If I take you outside here, I'll show you what they're going to look like. So you get those and then screw a bottle onto them like this. And I just I have to get some more bottles and then it drips into here or anywhere. But I want them for my strawberry pots because I have to keep watering them and it's a pain in the neck. But they've got delicious strawberries. But. It's all Mark's fault from Mark's allotment plot. He bought some and I thought they looked really cool. Strawberry. Just a quick update from the greenhouse. These are the extra beans I grew and by the looks of the ones outside that are being eaten to death by something, I don't know if it's a mouse or slugs, I'm gonna need them. Uh, carrots are doing good. These are the autumn kings. They're romping away like crazy, as are the cucumbers. Basically this, video is just to top off and end my last one about the spacing and putting too many things in one area and I think I have a frog oh my god look at this this is on the outside of my greenhouse see him in between him and the, the greenhouse and the tarp he's hiding they're like about an inch long we have them all nice sunny day sort of kind of so I just thought I'd show you some of the flowers the stillbees are flowering. The bells are hanging over. I forget what they're called. Sedum's coming. Marigolds, of course. Some form of geranium back there. I have a lot of flowers in my yard that I have no idea what they are. This is a sage that flowers and more stillbees. I love my stillbees. They're so pretty. Cosmos. 
lilies are dying off, but the liatris is coming into flower. That's this one. It'll be a huge purple cone. Everything here looks good. More lilies and the bee balm is finally flowering. This sedum is huge. I never cut it down this year and separated it, which I should. So it's taken over this whole bed. But when it bursts into color, it's bright red and it should be absolutely gorgeous. This Bee Balm is coming into bloom. Bergamot. The Crocosum is coming out and the hummingbirds will love that. The lilies are all blooming. They're gorgeous. They... I'm surprised they're all burgundy because I'm sure I had some pinks and some reds as well. Even the ones up at the vegetable garden are not coming out anything other than burgundy. So I don't know if they've cross-pollinated and that's what they're all going to be, which is fine. I don't mind. They stand out. Lots of flowers in here that I have no idea what they are that I put in here. The sedum is so big, it's taking over the bed. It's a gorgeous bright red color when it pops out. Lots of red in my yard, as you'll notice. And I've listed in the notes 10 things to keep in mind when gardening. There are 10 things I try to keep in mind when I'm gardening. But rather than ramble on with them all, I just thought I'd write them down for you. And see what I mean by taking over my poor little hydrangeas hiding down there. It can't even get any sunspots. Anyway, great day. Have a good week. Bye-bye.